Hey guys, so this is your Sculpt and Burn. It's about, it's a 20 minute button ab workout. I love working these areas. Um, it's quick, something you can do every single day, especially when you kind of feel lazy, but you want to still sculpt. So um, we're going to get started in a little bit. So lay down on your back and we're going to start with normal sit-ups. Once again, exhaling when you come up. Don't use your hands to cheat. I know it's, you really want to, <laughs> but don't if you can um, see if you can keep your neck straight so if you're looking up and you're trying to um, do the sit up going up instead of forward to your knees that's gonna make it a lot harder and it's gonna burn a lot quicker going at like a medium pace here we're not going too crazy just warming it up Good opportunity to just kind of acknowledge where we are how we feel today just 10 seconds left here and we'll move on so now go straight into mountain climbers i like to point my toes during these make it more ballet-ish or you can flex whichever feels better So we're going a little bit faster than usual, so it's more of a pulse action as opposed to like a full bicycle. Once again, try and get your elbow to your knee as opposed to your knee to your elbow. It's very easy to get your elbow close to your, your knee to close to your elbow and it's kind of cheating a little bit. So see if you can keep your knees uh, a little farther away and then get your elbow to it. So that's gonna really work it more. Just 20 seconds left here. Ten seconds left think of working out as a gift to your body this is what you're doing to show it that you love it okay okay so now we're just doing normal toe touches so once again lift up don't go forward so try and touch your the ceiling with your hands Keep it going. You're halfway there. If this hurts your neck, you're more than welcome to hold your neck. But it's definitely going to be harder if you're using your hands. And don't use your hands to thrust yourself up. That is cheating. So be mindful of that. You have about 10 seconds left. All right, now stay there and then now we're just going to do leg lifts right so staying in that position and then just lowering the legs now be mindful of your breath here are you exhaling when you go down is your stomach sticking out when you're going down try to make it so that your stomach is maintaining um, a suction energy to it i'd rather your legs not go as far down and you really focus on how you're sculpting your abs that's really what we're working on here when you're a ballerina or you're a dancer, um, we always focus on sucking in and tightening and, and using these abs more of an artistic way as opposed to just a masculine, harsh way. Almost there. Now we're going to do full jackknives. So full jackknives are definitely the most effective ab workout that I've experienced. They're, it's really hard, so just go easy on yourself. Um, try to lift up your head and your legs at the same time. Exhale when you go up to meet the feet and the toes. And then as you lower your legs, you're still sucking with that stomach. Be really mindful. I'd rather you focus more on isolation than 
the um, movement of your legs. Your legs are simply moving in order to target those abs. So look at them more as weights than putting your attention on them completely. You're almost there. Okay, so now go onto your side. Sorry, my phone's not working, it's being weird. Okay, so go onto your side. And we're gonna stay up on the side plank and do tiny little pulses here. This will immediately burn, but it's a great opportunity for us to isolate and become conscious of the exact area that we're targeting. That's what I love about pulsing, is it gives us the opportunity to put 100% of our awareness into one spot. Sometimes when we're doing crazy hit workouts and going from one thing to the next to the next and we don't really, we're not really understanding where it's hurting. It's just hurting all over, right? But when we pulse, we're isolating and that means that we can really manifest change in that specific area. So just keep doing pulses here. Try to stay up as high as you can and then pulse from that highest point. Okay, so now go on to the other side. Lift up, highest point, and then pulse from that highest point. So really suck in as you go up, just. <sighs> you can be like, I know, I feel you muscle. I'm right here with you. Let's make you stronger. Take a break if you need to. We have about 20 seconds left here. Ten seconds. Nice. Alright, so now we're just gonna go into a plank, our favorite. <laughs> And we're gonna do our absolute favors, which is plank twist. This is a good motion to do after side planks because now we're targeting both of our side obliques at the same time. So focus on getting a straight back. We don't wanna be hunching over or like concaving our torsos. We want this to be flat like a cheese grater. So I would rather you take breaks and really do this right as opposed to just trying to burn through and hurting your shoulders or hurting your back. Even if you can do this in front of a mirror and kind of see if your butt's lifting or if your back's kind of concaving, see if you can get it as straight as a line as you can. It's gonna hurt like crazy and you won't be able to do it as long, but that's what we want. That is actually the progress that we wanna see. It's okay if you can't do it the whole time. As long as you're doing it correctly, that's all that matters. Whew, that was painful. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna take a nice little one minute break. You can fuck around on your phone like I'm doing whatever you want. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm just like so fucking lazy and I don't want to do full workouts or I don't want to jump up and down these little sculpt exercises on the floor is really amazing and it's more of a mental thing too like if i knew if i know that i didn't want to work out and i push myself for just 20 minutes that day i feel so much better just like spiritually i feel better so if you're like me today you don't necessarily want to work out but you do want to get something in this is it this is the the vibe for you okay so lay down in your stomach we're gonna start with our butt now and we're just gonna do simple leg lifts here. Make sure that your foot is either pointed or flexed, but really focusing on one thing. Keep those and keep the leg as straight as it possibly can and completely relax your left side. We're only targeting the right side. You're gonna feel a nice strengthening in your lower back as well. This is partly why I like to do it on the ground because we really don't strengthen our lower backs as much as we need to. And over time, when we become older, it's actually one of our weakest places. So focusing on that as well, as much as we are working out to 
sculpt our bodies to the way we want it to be we're also strengthening these micro muscles so that when we're older we're not going to have back pain or you know have a hard time getting up from sitting down like those are the things that we're trying that we're preventing by doing these things so you get a great butt and a longer happier life <laughs> Now we're doing circles so once again keep that leg as straight as you can i always use the example of imagine someone taking a picture of you doing this exercise how would you adjust your body putting that extra five percent ten percent of work just to make it look photogenic that's where we want to be keep going nice little circles imagine the circle that you're drawing really extend that leg as straight as you can okay amazing now let's do that left side so same thing up and down straight leg you can lay your head down Once again, if someone's taking a picture, how would you change your leg? How would you change the position? almost there and then we're going to go into the circles keep it off the ground the entire time don't touch the ground okay now we do circles and go it doesn't matter which way you can also really focus on your inner thigh the closer you get the circle to your other leg the more you're working that inner thigh so feel free to do that if you um, want to work that area just a little bit more and then if you want to work the outer butt then make the circle a little bit bigger once again you'll definitely feel strengthening in that lower back but that's good we want that Relax your neck if you need to. Really just bringing awareness to each of the little micro muscles that are being worked right now. And bringing and sending them love too, right? We're doing this to love ourselves, not to punish ourselves, girls. All right, now come over to the side, your right leg. And we're going to just do nice side rainbows here. So just keep the motion steady. Imagine a photographer taking a photo. Don't let it touch the ground. Keep these movements cons consistent too, as if you're doing this to the beat of a song. Well, you are, but I don't know if this beat works with it, so. Almost there. Stay there and pulse it here. You guys know I love doing this, but it works so well. It's so effective. Tiny little pulses here. Flexor point, totally fine, whichever you want to do. Don't forget that stomach too. Is it working? Because you can always find a ways to work that those obliques. I know it's burning. 
the smaller the pulse is, the more it's going to burn. So just depending on how you feel today, if you want to burn it out more or less, that's how you measure it. You're almost there. Burn. That was painful. Now go over to the other side. I'm going to do those full rainbows. Be mindful. When you do the full rainbows, when you're going all the way to the back, try and make it almost like a three quarter as opposed to just going um, back to the stray leg. So you can really target that side glute as well. I have a couch that's kind of blocking me doing that, but if you can get it farther, then you're also utilizing your side obliques to bring it back around. The more graceful and elegant you do these movements, the more um, graceful and uh, I guess elongated your body will be. Um, our bodies really mirror our energy that we put into the workouts. So if I'm being cautious and um, grateful in each of these workouts then my body's gonna reflect this but I'm like if I'm mad at myself do those pulses um, then my muscles are gonna react in the same way it's gonna be more of like a harsher emotion to it so I try to focus on being calm and loving the entire time of the workout even if I'm doing a hit workout It's burning. You're almost there. See if you can go really, really tiny with this pulse. Just go boom, 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 boom. Tiny, 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 like you're a fucking hummingbird. Let's go. pulses will be the death of us Ugh, painful all right now lay on your back and we're gonna do nice bridges here so we're gonna do in and outs so put all of your weight on your heels you can even lift up your toes if you want to to really get that feeling and then open and close from that angle keeping your butt up the entire time and make sure that it's not your chest or stomach that's going up it's just your butt see if you can lower your chest down a little bit and then raise the butt and then you're going to immediately start to shake that's the feeling that we want it's not a competition on how high you can get your butt just really the competition here is for yourself on how quickly you can get that burn In and out, in and out. Really squeeze those knees together when you come in. Okay, so now we're gonna do the nice splits. You know I love these. Ballet inspired, I love ballet inspired. I feel like ballet ballerinas and ballet teachers, like. They just figured it out, you know, like creating elongated muscles, like they figured it out. Just nice splits here. Nothing too crazy, just using those inner thighs a little bit. We're starting to slow down. your stomach and we're gonna do frog lifts so these are these are so effective I love these so much so see if you can keep your feet together the entire time I'm not a good example of that right now but and then lift up so it's really easy to kind of lift over your butt but we just want to focus on lifting up as if we want to stomp the wall if there's like a wall right there and you're touching your toes to it and then try and keep your knees off the ground the entire time. Don't lower. So it's a pulse action. If you want to go a little harder, you can use 
um, a little bit of an up and down emotion with your hands so that you're using your full back, but you don't have to. And that's it. You did your nice little burn and sculpt. See, it wasn't too crazy. So we're just gonna stretch, always wanna stretch. So go into a nice pigeon. Ow, fucking hurts. Okay, lay down, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, go down over the pigeon. See if you can just release. Okay, now go over to the other side. It's gonna be a little bit quick stretch here. Let it release. Breathe into these muscles. Can I go to the middle splits? And lean forward and breathe here. Just releasing. Nothing too crazy in this stretch today, but just letting your muscles let go a little bit is always good after any workout. come up and we're gonna do a nice lift so either do a half bridge lift like this as an example or we're gonna do a full one so legs straight out and then lift with your heels and then come up this is also a strengthening exercise too so breathe here breathe 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 using those abs and release ah that was it you guys i love you